The Impecunious Cricket and the Frugal Ant. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. There was an ant, a spinster ant, whose virtues were so many that she became intolerant of those who hadn't any. She had a small and frugal mind, and lived a life ascetic, nor was her temperament the kind that's known as sympathetic. I skip details. Suffice to say that, knocking at her wicket, there chanced to come one autumn day a common garden cricket. So ragged, poor, and needy that, without elucidation, one saw the symptoms of a bat of several months' duration. He paused beside her doorstep, and, with one pathetic gesture, he called attention with his hand to both his shoes and vesture. "'I joined,' said he, an opera troupe. They suddenly disbanded, and left me on the hostile stoop, lugubriously stranded. I therefore lay aside my pride, and frankly ask for clothing. "'Be gone,' the frugal aunt replied. "'I look on you with loathing. Your muddy shoes have spoiled the lawn. Your hands have soiled the fence, too. If you need money, go and pawn your watch, if you have sense, too.' The moral is, albeit lots of people follow Dr. Watts, the sluggard, when his means are scant, should seek an uncle, not an aunt. End of The Impecunious Cricket and the Frugal Ant